show you how to sort a pallet of mixed electronics. First, go to Recycling at the top and click Inventory Detail in the Flyout menu. Once you're on the Inventory Detail page, you can view all the lots in your system under your Recycling Inventory. So using these tabs, you can see which stage of the workflow these lots are in. So if you have a sorting tab, theoretically all of your lots that need to be sorted will be under this tab. So I'm going to click Sort and this number here implies that there's 43 lots that are in your sort workflow. So scroll down and find the lot that you're looking for. You can also use this search bar here to type in the lot number. So if I wanted to search for lot 1367, Paladin Mixed Electronics, I can just go right to the search bar and type in 1367, click enter, and you found your lot. So once you have your lot that you're looking for, click this checkbox and then click sort at the top. Okay, so now we're on the sorting page. The first thing you should realize is that this page is very similar to the inbound order receive page. So you have your lot ID number at the top, 1367. You have the inbound order number, 10,303 that it's tied to. You have an order date and your gross tear and net weights. You also have a processing summary bar. So once we start receiving against this lot and sorting it, it's going to process this lot and it's going to show you your progress summary here. You also have order comments. So if you want to add in order comments here, you can do that. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the item field and select the master commodity associated to your sorting lot. In this case, I'm going to say computers. Select computer. You can change the packaging type. So if it's a pallet, Gaylord, unit, you can add packaging in the system and tie weight to it. So if I change it to Gaylord, you'll notice that the tear weight moved to 40. If I choose loose, tear weight's at zero. So you can configure that in the system settings. I'm going to leave this in as a pallet. And I'm going to say this was 250 pounds after weighing it. And give it an item count. Put 40. And if you want to put in any notes, you can. You can choose the warehouse and the sublocation. So this isn't necessary, but if you have location set up, choose a location. And the last thing, you're going to want to change your workflow as well. So it's defaulted to the sort workflow, but you can change this. So if you're going to send this to your finished goods, you can choose the final workflow. If you need further testing, you could choose a testing workflow, however you want to set it up. In this case, we're going to say this is finished goods. So I'm going to move this to final, and then I'm going to click the add button at the bottom. It's going to ask me if I want to print out a label. If you have your printer set up, you would click yes. It would print out a 4x6 receiving label and put it on your new lot. In this case, I'm going to say no. And first thing you should realize at the bottom is that our new lot was added in. So it has a new lot ID, 1516. It also has a sub lot ID of 1367-1. That's because we're processing the master lot, which is 1367. If you look at the processing summary at the top right, you'll realize that we've processed 205 pounds out of 455 net pounds, and there's still a discrepancy of 250 pounds left. So we have to continue sorting out this lot. Next thing I'm going to do is go back into my item field and add another commodity to finally process this lot. In this case, I'll say servers. And I'll say it weighs 295 pounds. Give it an item count of 20. You can add in notes. I'll send this to my final workflow. If you have a location, choose a location. Then I'm going to click Add. Print a label and slap it on your new lot. So we have two lots now that are sublots of 1367. We have 1367-1 and 1367-2. If you look at the processing summary, we have the process weight 100%. So this is a perfect match. If it's not a perfect match, it's going to ask you what you want to do with your leftover weight. And you can add an, a new lot to finally process the main. So once you're finished, click Processing Complete. And it says Lot 1367 have now been processed. Click OK. If I go back into my Inventory Detail page and refresh my page, so the first thing you should notice is that our two new lots that we generated off 1367 are now in the system. 
One's at 250 pounds, the other one's at 295, and it processed that lot 1367. So if I go into history, I can search for lot 1367, and you'll see that this lot has been processed with zero weight remaining. Thanks for watching this video. You just learned how to sort a pallet of mixed electronics. For more helpful videos, check out our YouTube channel or email us at support at razorvrp.com.